Hey, so do you ever face a lot of lag or latency when you're playing in Apex Legends? Um, I've created a tool and I think it might actually help you. Um, if you head on over to my website, which is mikes.co.zw, I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out. Uh, once you get to the software center, you just click download. Yes. Uh, once it's finished downloading, you just open it up. Next, next, next. Finished. Uh, it'll leave a shortcut on your desktop, as you can see here. You just double click this. Um, you'll be prompted with username. You can put anything you would like in this field. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just going to put a random username of mine. Um, once you do that, it's going to load up all the IP addresses for the servers. It starts to ping. Uh, the ping lasts about five seconds. If you need it for longer, just click start and stop with these two buttons. Um, as you can see, these are all the servers for Apex Legends. You just select all the ones you want to block. So for me, I would like to play on the EU and London only. I don't want to play in America and I don't want to play in Japan or Hong Kong or Australia. So once I've done that, I just got to set the path to my game. So you just go over to your game directory. For me, that's my Steam library. It could be your origin directory. Just double check which version of Apex you're running. Um, so you just point it to the .exe file. Once you've done that, just say yes. Presets, ignore this. This is an old feature. Um, use threshold you can tick this option if you want um, if you do tick this option all it's going to do is it's going to block all the servers which are above this threshold of 230 ping so all the servers in the green will not be blocked all the servers in the red will be blocked so you take the servers you'd like to block and whichever ones are green it will not block I don't need this feature for myself I don't want to play in America so I'm gonna disable that feature um, and then you just click run blocker that's it. It's very simple. So as you can see, when you open up the game, when you press tab, you're going to see that only the servers that you didn't select will be playable. So in my case, everything in the EU, Belgium, London, Frankfurt, Amsterdam, all these servers are not blocked. And another thing, guys, um, never trust the Apex Legends server selector. When you select London from this list, it doesn't mean that you're always going to play in London. For some reason, the matchmaking will continue to put you wherever it wants depending on the matchmaking and how many people are there and I don't know how their matchmaking works but basically yeah, it just puts you all over the place. I'm just going to show you guys another way that you can actually check what server you're playing on in the game. Um, as you can see here I've got this application open it's called Live TCP UDP Watch. I'll leave a link for it in the description so you can check it out yourself. Um, but basically it just lists all the programs on your PC and the ports it's communicating on and the IP addresses blah blah blah. Um, the important thing is to go to options, advanced options. And you want to skip these two ports here because for Apex Legends, we don't need those two ports. And then what I would do is just put the application that you want to monitor. So for my, in my case, it's just going to be apex.exe, r5apex.exe. And you can just click on this refresh. And what it's going to do is it's going to show you what application or what ports and, and IP addresses Apex is communicating with. Now, what I would recommend is when you op open this application, make sure that you're inside the game already. So in my case, I'm in the firing range um, and I'm playing on London, as you can see here. Um, so yeah, you basically just alt tab out and just monitor the IP address that your game is connected to. You can tell that it's the active one because you'll see a lot of traffic and speed on the, on the receive and send speed. Once you have the IP address, which you can get by just double clicking this and then just going to the remote address, just copy that. You can actually open up your browser and then head on over to this website. I'll leave it in the description. It's just an IP lookup tool, which you can use to look up IP addresses. And as you can see, this is actually Netherlands. Even though I selected London in the game, I am playing on Netherlands. Can you believe it? As you can see, it's London at the bottom here, but yet when I go back and I actually check the IP address that I'm connected to in the game and this is live traffic if I refresh this it's, it's as live as it gets 23.109 23.109 this is Netherlands guys <laughs> so this is just a perfect example of why you need this blocker now that we've done the initial blocking of the service I just want to go back and explain some of these things so that for those of you that would like to know or want more details on this at least you have a bit more information so when you set the path for the application of, of apex legends it doesn't interfere with the game file in any way it doesn't modify anything with the application this application simply takes the path of that exe file 
and links it to your network firewall. So I can show you that at the control panel. We head on over to your firewall. Uh, firewall. And then you go to the advanced settings. When you get to this section here, you can actually see from here, uh, which is this one. So Apex Legends Blocker. The, the program that it's set to is the path that you selected in the application. And all the remote addresses that you've blocked are these ones here. So if you double click this, you can actually come and have a look at the scope. These are all the IP addresses from the blocker. Um, and then yeah, program, this is the program that it uses. So that's the only reason why you have to set the path for the application. Uh, and to address a few questions that I commonly get, um, is this application 100% accurate? No, it's not. <laughs> um, it's literally just like a, a list of IP addresses that I've collected and other people have collected and we put together sort of like as a community and um, we've sort of managed to come up with these IPs and, and, and block the server. So if for some reason it doesn't work, uh, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> uh, if you follow the instructions earlier in the video, you can find the IP address that you're playing on and send it to me and I'll confirm that it's the right IP address and then block it or we'll add it to the, the list of IPs for that region. So I know a lot of people from Singapore complain of this quite often. So just check the IP address that you're getting in the game, uh, send it to me, I'll verify it, and then you can add it to the blocker. So it's as simple as that. Um, look, it is a community project, so it's not officially supported and there's no official list of IPs. So it is quite hard to keep up with all the changing IP addresses. Um, and quite often, like with a new season, there's new IP addresses. So yeah. So that wraps up the video for today. Um, thank you so much for watching and spending the time listening to me uh, explain a lot of the stuff. And I hope that this was very uh, helpful for you. And I hope that the blocker is working for you. It's, re it's really nice to know that people are actually using it and it's, it's helping them. I'm, I'm glad to be helping the community. And yeah, leave a like, subscribe, uh, ring the bell notification to see another video. Um, I'm gonna be posting a lot more videos soon, hopefully. Um, I know I've been quiet on the channel, but I'll keep trying to post more content. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Cheers.